Hello friends, in this video we will learn the working of a NOR gate implemented by using two diodes and a simple transistor and then we will design it on breadboard. Here is the circuit diagram of the NOR gate. Here we have used two diodes and one NPN transistor. A 9 volt battery is applied across collector and emitter terminal of the transistor. Since we know that if there is no base, volt, base voltage to an NPN transistor, then the transistor will not allow to flow current from collector to emitter if there is no base voltage. This technique is used to design this NOR gate. So let us see how. Here is the truth table of a NOR gate. So here we see when we apply 0 at terminal A, then this, this diode will be in reverse bias because this side is positive and this side is negative. So no current can flow from this terminal, from this positive side to negative side. So there will be no current. And when B is also 0, if B is also 0, this terminal is B, we have considered and this terminal is A. When B is also 0, then this diode will be also in reverse bias. So current cannot flow through this. So there will be no current. So since there, there is no current, so through this 1K resistor, also current will not flow. So that's why there is no base voltage in this case. So the transistor will not allow to flow current from its collector terminal to emitter terminal. So this will this transistor will act as a open switch. That means there is no connection from here to here, from here to here. So in this case, the entire voltage, the entire current will flow through this LED. That means this is the output LED. So in this case, LED will be in on state. That's why we will get output that is 1. But if we observe the other sets of inputs that is 0, 1, 1, 0 or 1, 1, we can see for the second set of input that is if A is 0, then this diode will be in reverse bias. So no current flow from positive terminal to negative terminal. But in this case, B is 1. That means this diode will allow to flow current. So current will flow through this and this will flow through this 1K resistor. So there will be base voltage. So this transistor will now allow to flow current from collector to emitter through this path. So the entire current will flow through this transistor and there, th therefore, this LED will not be turned on. So it will be off in this case. That's why we will get zero across the output. Now there will be question that why the current will flow through this transistor, not through this uh, LED. Because the transistor has less resistance than the internal resistance of this LED. Current always flows through the but where resistance is low. That's why the entire current will flow through this transistor when there will be base voltage. That's why we will get zero at the output. This is same case for if A is one, if A is one, then this will allow current to flow. So transistor base will get voltage. So then it will turn on and current will flow through this. If both are on, then both the diodes will allow current and both currents will grow through 1K resistor and this transistor will allow current to flow through this and will not get output here. So that's why this circuit act as a NOR gate. Now we will implement this circuit on the breadboard. To implement this circuit on breadboard, we need a breadboard, two diodes. Here we are using 1 and 4 zero, zero, 007 diodes. Then two 1K resistors, one is here and another one is this one and we need an NPN transistor here we are using bc547 you can use any type any NPN transistor and one led to observe the output and a 9 volt battery you can use also other batteries less than 12 volt and uh, some connecting wires
when we observe the diodes closely, then we can see there is a silver coated side and the other side is black. black. So this silver coated side is negative. That means this terminal is negative terminal and the black coated side is positive terminal. That means this terminal is positive terminal. Now let us first insert these two diodes. So here to the left side, the positive terminal is there. So we will insert like this and insert it here and uh, this side is negative and uh, this side is positive so that it will be easy to understand that's why we have inserted that positive side to the left side so next this negative side of this first diode is connected to the connected to the negative side of the other diode so we have we will insert it like this since this column is internally connected so now these are connected and we will connect the we will insert the other terminal to any point of our breadboard now from this point 1k resistor a 1k resistor is connected so we will insert this 1k resistor from here then from the other point that is from the other terminal of the resistor the base of the transistor is connected so here is our transistor the leftmost terminal this one is collector the middle one is base and the rightmost is emitter so we will insert it like this so that the base is connected to the resistor okay now this emitter terminal of the transistor is grounded so we will connect it by wire and we will connect the other terminal of the wire to this row so that we will use this entire row as ground terminal then from the collector of the transistor another 1k resistor is connected and the uh, another terminal of the resistor is connected to the positive terminal of the battery so we will connect this is the collector terminal and from this terminal we will connect we will connect this we have connected this resistor and from the another terminal of this resistor we will connect a wire to our vcc row that means we will connect the positive terminal of our battery to this row sorry this is disconnected let me use another wire so we will use this and we will connect it to this row we will connect the positive terminal over battery to this row now we have to connect this output LED so from that we will use we will use a wire and from that we will connect it to here and from the terminal from this point we will connect the positive terminal that is the longer terminal of the LED to that wire and negative terminal to our ground road that we have considered here now we will connect the positive terminal of our battery to our VCC row that we have considered that means here to any point of this row this entire row from here to here and a negative terminal of the battery to our ground row that we have considered now we have to connect two wires small wires between this row since these rows this row to this row this row these two rows are not internally connected if we not use this wire similarly for the ground row also we have to use a wire now our circuit is ready now we will observe the output from the truth table we can see when a is zero zero means we have to connect the terminal a to our ground row that that is here to any point of this row then the b is zero again from the terminal b that we have considered this terminal as b and this terminal as a so from b 
also b is, since b is 0 so we have to connect it to ground in this case we can see the output is 1 that's why the led is now on now when a is 0 0 means we have to connect it to ground it is already grounded and b is 1 1 means we have to connect it to our vc0 in this case the output should be 0 so that's why the led is now off for the third case when a is 1 1 means we have to connect it to our vc0 to any point of our vc0 and a and b is in this case b is 0 0 means we have to connect it to our ground row in this case the output is 0 that's why the led is now led is now off and for the third last set that a is 1 b is 1 that means both a and b should be connected to our vcc row a is already connected and we have connected this b also in this case also the output is 0 so for a nor gate the output is 1 if and only if if both the inputs are in zero that means here so thank you for watching this video if you like this video then please don't forget to subscribe to our channel you can also buy this electronics components project sensors modules from our official website www.dpvtechnology.com